Hello seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. We have covered in the Ascendant Lord in different houses, the first Lord up to the 10th house. This video is all about the first Lord in the 11th house. What happens when the Ascendant Lord, the Lagna Lord, the Rising Sign Lord goes into the 11th house, the house of gains? We will discuss in detail in this video, but before that, do not forget to hit like, subscribe and share and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another update. You can follow me on social media, Instagram and Facebook for more such content on the Vedic Astrology. And if you want to book consultation, if you want to take consultation from me, you can drop me an email. All the email ID and the social media links are in the description box below. So let's continue with the first Lord in the 11th house. Ascendant Lord, as I have discussed in other videos, is primarily defining you as a, as a person, as a personality, as in totality. It is your Ascendant, so it is redefining your reason of birth. The Ascendant is the rising sign when, which is recorded exactly at the time you came to this planet inside this human body and you started the journey of life in this realm. So Ascendant is very much, very much in tune with your overall behavior, with what happens with you. And this is why one of the reason is that the transits are seen primarily through ascendant. Because when you were born, it's the transit that becomes your birth chart. Now, 11th house is a very, very important house. In Hindi, it is called as Labh Sthan. That means the house of gains. What is gain? 11th house is the house where there is no output. It only has input. It is one of the Kamatrikon, one of the house uh, of the Kamatrikon 3, 7, 11. Also, it is one of the Upache houses 3, 6, 10, 11. And it is the Labhisthan. Also, it is second from the Karma Bhav. So, it's also the house of Karma Fal. So, whatever Karma you do, you gain that. Gain can be negative, gain can be positive. Totally depending upon your karma, what you are going to gain in your life, you can gain diseases, but you can gain heaven-like life also. So, do not confuse that 11th house is always, it is considered to be the most positive house, but it depends on the karma. Now, when first lord goes into the 11th house, now you are more focused on the karma fall rather than the karma. Because now your personal attention, no matter what happens, the personal focus always goes on the profit and loss statement. It's not bad, but what happens in this case is that if the planet is positive, you will always focus on the positive outcomes, but if the planet becomes negative, if there is a, if the Lagna Lord is posited in the 11th house in an enemy Rashi, say Aries Ascendant, if you are an Aries Ascendant and if your first Lord goes into the 11th house, now you are in the Aquarius Zodiac. What happens in this case? Aquarius is ruled by Rahu and Saturn combined. Both are enemy of Mars. So what happens in this case is that the person will desperately try to gain the position in the society. He will try to get maximum out of the 10th house because what is the 11th house? Collection of the karma. That's why you will always focus on what will happen. So consequence based karma will be the theme of your life. But in Bhagavad Gita it is said that karma neva dikaraste ma faleshu kadachana. You do the karma and I will give the results. This is what the Paramatma says. This means this contradicts the placement of First Lord in the 11th house, making the horoscope or your nature very materialistic. So it reduces the spiritual energy of the house until some other planet, some other houses interferes and what you gain is spirituality. So you have to be very careful with this kind of placement. When the First Lord goes into 11th house, you need to check and cut back on your greed, on your demands, on your desire. 11th is also the house of uh, source of income. So you're always concerned about the source of income. Your source of income will require your personal presence. For example, a doctor who is doing a surg surgery, uh, an astrologer who is doing consultations, or uh, say an actor who is always, always earning because of his face value. That means his physical presence is needed. In this case, uh, uh, you, you may see that uh, you may find difficulty in running large business houses. 
that's one back uh, you can say negative consequence also uh, 11th house is the house of elder siblings so it also shows gain from the elder siblings gain from father gain from maternal side of the family also what it shows is gain from public because 11th house is your network connection so when your first lord goes into the 11th house your phone list will be full of people and you will have connection you if somebody comes to you and uh, wants uh, the contact of a person you will you will have some or the other way you will find one contact that can fulfill the need of that person so you are like a uh, yellow pages or just style jokingly i am saying but what happens in this case is that you can utilize this energy you can utilize this potential your wide presence your wide uh, you know aura that spreads out into the entire world you have the natural instinct of an influencer you have the natural uh, potential of somebody who can do good for the society so you are always present in the public you are always there in the eye side in the limelight so it's kind of good it's a very good placement for actors and anybody who is from the media industry because the lagna lord when it's posited in the 11th house doesn't matter which planet it is it will always aspect the 5th house so you will always want to become a king 5th house is the natural house of leo the king the sun so this house uh, from the 11th house when you see the 5th house you always see that there is a kingdom of waiting for you and you want to make that kingdom so generally what happens that the people build empires out of their talent which is kind of good but again you have to see that which planet is placed in the 11th house and what is the energy of the planet is the masculine energy or it is the feminine energy if it is mars if it is saturn if it is jupiter it is going to give the masculine side of life the competition the the desire the achievement the rank the power authority and on the other hand if it is mercury if it is venus it's more on the feminine side if it's moon it's more on the feminine side it's more on the emotional side it's all about creativity dance arts music singing acting expressing the thoughts writing books so also one more thing you have to see if your first lord is placed in the 11th house its relationship with the other zodiac ruled by that planet say for example your first lord is scorpio in case of that mars goes into the 11th house in the sign of virgo now you have to see the connection of mars with virgo but also you have to see how far this is from the sign of aries so these are few trips with which you can ascertain the real nature of this planet but overall in general what it is seen is usually the planet's placement in the 11th house gives positive results you actually gain from that planet and when you start gaining from that planet you will usually notice that your actions will result into fruits very quickly and you will get out the output very quickly when you are doing that when you are getting the output very quickly you will also understand that both the positive and the negative outputs comes fast and in that case you need to be very careful about your own karma because if you really want to gain the first lord in the 11th house and you really want to gain from this you have to focus on the 10th house and the 5th house 10th house of your karma and the 5th house of your education of your learning and your passion so i hope you follow your passion and gain the best out of it because this is the labasthan so may god give you all the gains that you deserve with this i end this video let's meet in the next video or continuing this series first lord in 12th house till then namaste